Hey, hey, everybody, this is Rob Goff here, the ET Whisperer. I wanted to jump in real quick today and let you guys know that I asked Artif to do a little segment on projections and reflections. Uh, my own Facebook post talking about the reflections I've seen in the collective, what they meant to me, how they affected me, uh, really want, made me want to share uh, more energy towards this, so I asked Artif to put his two cents in. Uh, and he shared this short little uh, channeling here that we're going to share real quick. Uh, I also wanted to let you guys know, um, if you wanted to join my Facebook, it's where I'm most active. Uh, however, it's not just channeling over there. Uh, a lot of my personal life, a lot of my family life, a lot of my all of my life kind of goes over there. Uh, it's the place I'm probably most active, although I get a lot of messages there, so it is hard for me to reach back to everybody. Uh, who does comment or who does connect, but I just want to let you guys know if you want to go there, you can. Uh, if you type in Rob Goth here, uh, it's the only one with my picture on it, the same picture I've used for the last couple years, uh, so enjoy that. Um, also wanted to let you guys know I appreciate your support and your love. You guys have supported us for years when we haven't been able to uh, be this public, and this is our biggest excitement right now, to share as much in this way as we can and of course we want to share other ways and we want to put our energy in towards that and whoever is excited about supporting us in that way by all means we'll have more information after the video is over and how you can do that but the main things uh, that you guys already know uh, what we talked about last time is our patreon our new merchandise and our event that we're doing on september 11th and 12th uh, the channeling class a two-day event so check it out guys we'll drop a little more information at the end of the video uh enjoy the channeling hope you guys like the new intro i hope it brings you into that energy of the channeling uh just like i had hoped it to so enjoy it guys love you guys we'll see you on the other side no. Greetings to all that is Zardif, that is R-I-D-I-F, and this is its fair. We understand all queries of what reflections that we wish to share with you in this day, but before diving into those queries, there are, of course, the two things that we wish to express. The first, above and beyond all things expressed within this day, to know to feel and to perceive that you are loved in our perspective is of the utmost importance. Secondly, it is our great excitement and within that same great excitement in which we co-create with you, not only in this moment but through all moments of your linear time. Now, as we speak of the construct of reflections, what we wish to share with you first is the nature of reflections itself. As all of you are aware that souls entering a physical reality is akin to the construct that many humans perceive as a holographic universe, or as a simulated program of consciousness entering physical stream, or consciousness, or physical entities entering projected version of that reality through some form of crystallized digital construct. Now, Although there are relevancies and there are lines of symbology that we are able to drive from one edge to the other, although there are plenty of synonyms that could involve the construct, it is quite significantly and directly related to that of the non-physical consciousness. And when we express non-physical consciousness, what we mean are entities that do not hold physical form that cannot place their consciousness within the physical construct in this universal collective consciousness. And as all of you are aware, that the universal collective consciousness is the entirety of the universe in which all of us reside in this moment. Although you may 
appear to be in your fourth dimensional energy, although we may appear to be your seventh dimensional formed energy, we are still all very deeply ingrained into the physical reality. In your physical reality, you are able to look at another human and touch them, and that touch would be solid. You are able to look at your computer and touch this, and of course, these two will be solid. Then you are able to think thoughts, and although it is much less physical in nature, you are still able to find the direction in which those thoughts come from, where they are being projected to, and how they are received by others in the part of co-creation. With that construct, it allows you to understand that even though our physicality remains less than yours, although it is much less limited in the way that we experience it, when we touch another, we feel them as solidly as you feel another human. When we work with our inner technology, we would work with a construct of internally directly co-creating with those parts of our own consciousness and connection. But, although we have no forms of external conscious constructed technology such as humans do at this time, it is still a very physical trait of interactivity where we are going inside of ourselves and our consciousness shrinks to those lower aspects and attributes of our own self, and then we are able to either physically manifest in our own dimensional quality or co-create with others in the same capacity that are dimensionally the same. All of you understand throughout our own history, to Nebian consciousness, that of the ancient Pleiadian co-creator collective energy, migrate towards the star that humans understand and know as Dinim. We did so for multiple reasons, but the most important reason is that it was not severely populated, and we had room to grow our consciousness, remembering that the physical size of a star within any given solar system represents the amount of consciousness within. Your scientists perceive that stars work, in a certain way where those that are smaller burn less brightly, and those especially that are in the red, orange and yellow hues are experiences of the solar mass or stars themselves to burn slower, to last longer, and those that are blue or gigantic in yellow and light orange colours are those that would burn up more quickly. Now, linear time projected forward says that this is true to some degree, that the majority of stars that work in this way do in fact live shorter incarnation cycles. There is more to do in that collective. There is more to experience energetically from the solar system collective. Look at yours in comparison to our own. The eight planets that you are aware, the multiple versions of dwarf planets and the energies of those objects that are in your asteroid and Kuiper belt. And these, although it's seemingly insignificant, collectively add up to a large portion of consciousness. All of the first density entities that create the second density that are on many more bodies within your solar system than you are aware, third density going into forth many entities upon your human collective are feelings. Many entities that are going from the second density to the third, of course, they are also feeling and aware. And those entities that still exist in your solar system, whether visiting for long periods of time or natural in close inhabitants that are natively born within the solar system all amount still, into large forms of consciousness, and the nature of the planets that often indicate the co-creator collective are not working just from your now moment. As all of you are aware through what we have shared previously, you are not the first beings to inhabit Earth as a planet. The con key were, some of them went to the area that who now call Mars and started the rest of their own incarnation cycle there while well, the majority of humans that worked in co-creation with the Konki at the very first 
propulsion were actually those that incarnated from Martian co-creator collective consciousnesses. So those that were the earliest of humans were able to to barely reach that stage of energy in the first Earth inhabitants of the Colon Key. You understand that since then there are several incarnation cycles, such as those that are Lumerian, such as those that are Lumanian, and such as those that are Atlantean in nature. Also, if you are looking at non-humanoid incarnation cycles and reptilian incarnation cycles, the Earth reptilians are also an entirety of the Earth incarnation cycle, working one density above you in your planetary consciousness for the co-creation of the entirety of the Earth collective energy. And because they are one density above you, as you are going from third to fourth, they are going from fourth to fifth. Your animals, in many of those that are in the last portions of their growth and development, as second density consciousnesses show, of course, very clear and great indication that they too will take on their more bipedal forms. Already many mammals, especially, walking upon their hind legs, many reptilians especially, mobilizing with great intellect and ability to communicate not only with one another, but also other species altogether. So as you see that co-creation, as you understand there are multiple levels of incarnations upon Earth alone, now you understand and know Mars, Venus, even Mercury at many points, and of course multiple moons of that which are the gas giants in your linear future, will inhabit great and in-depth life forms, meaning that the entirety of the earth collective consciousness are not simply all the humans that exist. In this moment, the collective conscious locally are that portion of the consciousness that is inhabited in human form, animal form, plant form, bacterial form, etc., and working with the earth collective simply at this time alone and the humans at the forefront as they are the highest density from your density perspective. Even though the Earth reptilians are higher in dimensionality, they do not perceive themselves as a part of your collective, only of that of the Earth itself, and nature, and one another in their own company. So understand that incarnation cycles are far from being average, mundane, and small in the counting, there are large consciousnesses throughout the entirety of the galactic collective consciousness and most importantly, the universal collective consciousness. Now the reason why we bring this forward is that as you are going through projections, you must understand what those projections are in order to grow from them, in order to learn from them. And of course, you do not have to do anything. But if you desire the greatest understanding of Earth and its collective format, you first can understand the nature of entities that did, do, and will exist in your Earth collective linear future consciousness. Now, projections themselves, what is Earth showing you at this time? It is showing all of you that there is an elevated growth consciousness that even if those that appear to be opposite of growing and expanding are still living in the Earth collective consciousness, also having great, more expansive versions of the experience of their growth that they desire. There are many humans that have asked us, what is the most spiritual thing that we are able to do? And of course the answer is what? Live in your now moment. Act on those excitements. Let those excitements be your guidance tool to push forward in the collective consciousness and in the collective version of that said consciousness, and allowing your own growth to express that own individual growth and personally allow yourself also to reflect those co-creations that are around you. In reflection, what do we mean? You look inside of your mirror, you see an entity that is in front of you, and of course you know that is not yourself. It only mimics what you do as you are part of 
of the entirety of the soul consciousness energy connected outward to the higher fractal consciousness, the oversoul, solar system collective and on and on. But the reflection is only a flash of your energy in the moment and interpretable by any entity that perceives that reflection in whatever way that they are able to see that reflection. The person standing directly behind you would not see the same version of you in the mirror that someone would be standing in the side of you, or someone standing behind you in multiple mirrors placed upon the wall, and earth and all physical reality is just this. It is manifestation of that energy projection of desire to experience all of the things that you are, that you have, and that you will experience. Think of this in this moment. You go backwards into all linear time and can perceive a perceived history. You can go into the future with your concerns, worries, what you have in that moment. Only disconnection, only fear, only a lack of the entirety of all of yourself. This is important, as the projection that you hold also gives you either great enhancements or great resistances within those energies. When you see the mirror showing you something that is not exciting for you, it is very often unfrequently desired by the human mind to set that reflection aside, to either obsess over it or ignore it completely. It is much easier to work in that fashion, but the growth and expansion does not come. From the specific nature of what you see, it is how both you see and interact with those reflections. Now, we give you more real versions of the Earth experience, reflections. As you are speaking to your most dear and loved partner or human being or other entity upon the Earth collective, who go and experience the energy of yourself in co-creation with others. You are looking at those beings as who had said something that excited you, and they gave you a face of frustration or scorn. Instantly, your thoughts and defences come forward. That is the ego portion of consciousness, but it is not evil. It is only a design to help you navigate the physical form of reality. And why would you require to navigate the physical form of reality? Well, as all of you are aware, Earth Collective Consciousness holds the vibration of both connection and disconnection for certain. And the certainty of that is that this is what the entirety of the universe is made from, from the non-physical setting, allowing the lower fractal consciousness to go out and venture into its own expression of experiences, and do so with total free will and animity. With the construct of that energy of others, there can be some who recognize your soul consciousness. This is how you create soulmates, dear friends, etc. When you are working from that place of growth and expansion, entering that reflection that you have perceived, to perceive it from another perspective, by being another human themselves, they will always share with you their own perspective. When you give that great gift to that your loved one, they may also deny what the gift is. They may express, this is not the gift that I desired, and show you how you are wrong. Both of you are projecting versions of one another into that experience. The person giving the gift is generalizing the expression of the projected version of their partner, who would accept any form of gift in great way, or person who denies that gift and expresses that they do not wish to have. That entity has projected that the being in front of them are doing things that are unnecessary for their relationship or unwanted for their personal experience and benefit. Yet all of the energies are only projections of others. The entity who gives that great gift may simply only do so for the love of their heart. The one who denies that energy, may also deny as a desire to have different form of experience. Neither are wrong, neither are evil, neither 
are fully disconnected from what they are. It is only when they allow those projections to get in the way of what they are experiencing. There is no commonality between the integers in ways to find. Now we have given more complex versions of this energy, especially dealing with those that are relationship oriented in nature. In any form of reflection, there will always be five entities in the co-creation of two human beings, two separate entities. If they were not agreeing in one moment, there can be an expression from one to the other. Will you always think or feel this way? You always plan to do this or that. And the other person expresses, that is not what I think, feel or do, and this is not what I would require. Yet both of them, frustrated with one another, as they believed that they understood and knew the entity that was across from them, and their reaction in a way that they would intake that energy, information and gift, but instead what they have done is ran into that projected version, that reflective version. And because the person giving the gift believed that the person receiving it would create an entirely different way they only projected the version of them that they desired to co-create with. The other entity also manifesting that part of the co-creation with the other that also did not exist. The person sitting behind their own belief of who they are gives the most power to manifest that version. The secondary entity or entity close or closest, in fact, to that entity also has the opportunity to weigh in, but the energies have become blocked and stagnant, and these are the five entities in all relationships. The first, the person of yourself that you feel you are. Secondly, the other person and the way that they are inside of themselves. The third person, the first person's projection of that third person and their own consciousness. The fourth, the gift receiver, projecting the gift giver in what they believe their own consciousness holds. There are four different entities, and due to the nature of imbalance between, they are creating imbalance for the fifth entity, which is the collective version of both of these consciousnesses. As all of you are aware, those projections that were given are not reflections, although they behave and co-create with reflection tendencies. They are not reflections themselves. They are projections of nature by beliefs that are held by the human being. What the reflection was in that integer was the actual experience that the entity gave them, despite what they believed it would be. That part, the exchange, was of course that great reflection. Reflections by others projected into reality only come to you so that you are aware that you either are resonating or not with the subject, that you either are right or wrong from the human perspective about this one subject, to know that there is still growth left for you all, that you have done all the work needed and it did not affect you. The fifth entity is the one that struggles in relationships of two to gain access to similarity, neutrality, etc. Yet in all of the co-creation, the only way for neutrality to be found is with honest reflections from one another. The experience of knowing that a reflection that comes to you is pure, if you know it is pure, if your beliefs are centred towards it being, of course, the exact version of that experience that you can have, instead of that which most do have, then of course it is meaningful and reflective by nature. The last portion that we will share with you in this day, how to identify reflections in your experience, let us share with you that each moment of each day, each experience that occurs, are reflections in the making of co-creating. When you watch upon your television set the most upsetting news about the world's current affairs, then of course that is your reflection. 
That is the energy that shows you. You are not alignment with the earth consciousness in the way that you perceive the earth consciousness. It gives you the opportunity to reflect that energy and ask yourself why. And of course the answer in that specific circumstance, an example, is that because you are not creating that version of your ideal experience, you are only working with others to facilitate this for you or you are working towards the growth and expansion but not found the energy or the culpability to work with that energy for. So, understanding that each time you go through negative or positive experience from your perspective, those are the reflections of something that resonates with the higher fractal itself or something that does not. Now, Rob spoke a similar topic upon his own Social media co-created collective forms of consciousness. We only reiterate us the reflection that he perceives when working in his own reflections or that of an entity who desires to have clear reflections. Therefore they see, they understand, they know, they direct their actions toward that consciousness and they are free in much higher degrees of ever before experiencing that freedom as well. We wish to express to all of you that we have co-created with all of you in a collective way, and all of you in your individual forms that had allowed your consciousness to grow, your understanding of the nature of reality itself to grow, and because all of us are one, as your own energy grows, so too does ours. We congratulate all of you for your growth and expansion, and of course, we thank you for the expansion that all of you have given us in this day as well. We wish to express that not only are all of you loved, but we love you as well. We will bid you adieu for this evening. Hope you guys really enjoyed that channeling. Uh, I thought it was nice for Artif to come in. It's not something I had planned. Uh, I just asked him to talk about it yesterday, last night, and uh, had him channel real quick about that. Um, thank you for being here and to end the support and to hang out. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you want to join Patreon, it's, a, it's an easy process. You can go to patreon.com slash etwhisper. There's two packages, the 11 and the $22.00. Both get access to our channelings on the 15th and to the 30th. Both uh, both layers get to actively suggest the topics for the 15th and vote on the topics on the 15th. The only difference is that the $22 tier gets on the 30th on the Q&A uh, one extra time in the drawing. So everyone's name gets thrown in there and everybody in the $22 tier gets their name thrown in twice so it doubles your uh, ability to manifest your own question getting pulled because uh, there are enough people there where all the questions can't get answered every month so it's a drawing style but you're able to attend those and we do them live every month on live stream so if you're there in the chat and you're able to chat with us uh, you get to be a part of it which I think is one of the best parts which is one of the parts most people enjoy the most um, we also have the event on September uh, 11th and 12th and basically it's a channeling event. Uh, it's about channeling and teaching you how to channel. I'm going to give you all the techniques that I use to channel, troubleshoot the most common problems in channeling, and take all the questions and answers that you guys have uh, about channeling. And obviously not all of your questions, but any questions that you guys have, um, then we'll, we'll take questions out as we can. Um, and then we're going to have Trevin Artif show up and channel a little bit too. And we're going to be doing another event down the road where just Trevin Artif come in and teach channeling uh, in their own unique ways, giving us techniques or whatever else they're going to do with us. I have no clue. Uh, but I think that will be great and that will be announced at a later time. And then, of course, we have our merchandise. People have been asking about it for years. Um, our, our friend William uh, happened to have his own print and press. He offered to do it on his own dime and his own energy. So we said, all right, go ahead and do it. So he did. And uh, those will be getting uh, shipped out on the 15th of this month to people, people who've already put in their pre-orders. Uh, yeah, so it'll be really wonderful, guys. Um, and the last thing is I have an interview that I did with Lee Harris. Uh, 
his own show that he has um, is amazing. LeeHarrisEnergy.com. Um, it, it, it's probably one of the better, more direct talks I've had. And any of you guys know who Lee Harris is. Uh, Lee Harris is an amazing guy. I love that guy. He's a great friend. Um, he's, he's one of my favorite channelers. And not just because he channels well. Obviously he channels well, but because he's actually one of the most kindest, decent-hearted human beings that I've ever met in my life who actually cares to help people and does it in such a beautiful way. Uh, the energy that him and his husband have created have been just absolutely amazing in our community. Uh, I support Lee Harris. I, I probably always will. He's a great guy. And we had a beautiful interview, and that should be coming up uh, sometime next month, I believe. And I'm also going to be doing an actual trailer for the event as well, showing some highlights of clips from other th times that we've shared uh, channeling and classes during our live events and our workshops. Um, just to give everyone a taste of what's to come, uh, even though it's not a live event, it's an online event, uh, it'll have the same energy. Me and Kalina will both be sharing, teaching, uh, interacting with everybody, so I think it'll be really great. Uh, the price for that at two days is $44. Uh, our patrons have gotten a discount for that, but uh, if you guys come and, and you join, uh, you'll definitely have a good time if you want to learn more about how to channel yourself, because I think that's where the future of channeling is going. Uh, it's not having channelers who teach other people um, wisdom of the universe through their channeling. It's going to be people learning to channel for themselves and make that contact internally with your own guides. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video today. Um, uh, all of you who stayed after the actual channel material probably are already subscribed, but if you're not, you can always subscribe. I love you guys very much. Thank you for your support, and we're going to be uploading new videos soon. We still have not done the personal session edits yet, uh, but we've got three or four of those in uh, a folder waiting to get edited fully. And those will be some of the next ones you guys see out there. All right. We love you guys. Thanks again. Have a great time. And we'll talk next time.